Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to root your Samsung Galaxy S4 the fastest and easiest way. For this method, I'm going to show you how to do it on the AT&T version, which is running Android 4.4.2 KitKat. As you can see right here, it's full KitKat. And yeah, also I want to show you that it's not rooted. So you can see if you click verify root access right here, it says sorry root access is not properly installed. Okay. So the first step is to go to your browser, maybe Chrome or maybe the stock browser. And we're just going to go to a website. And the website is Tower Root. As you can see, I already have it right there. And this is the website. So you're going to click this lambda symbol and it's going to download the app as you can see right there starting download and it's a very small app so it doesn't take that long as you can see it's right here towelroot.apk we're going to click it and then we're going to click install if you see this warning you just click on more details and then install anyway. Now the app is done installing. We click open. So this is the app itself. Um, so to install root, you need to click this make it rain button. So we're going to do that. As you can see, it says, thanks. Thank you for using Tower root. You should have root, no reboot required. That's why this is the fastest way to root your phone because you don't have to turn off your phone and turn it on again. So now we're going to go to our super SU app or super user. And as you can see, it says the SU binary needs to be updated continue. And that means that it is rooted, but the SU binary needs to be updated so it can grant the root access. So we're just going to update it. Now this shouldn't take a while, it should take at most 2 minutes, but I'm going to pause the video to save time. After doing that, it says Samsung Knox has been detected. Try to disable Knox. Okay. Then successfully disabled. Installation success. So we're not going to reboot our device just for the sake of time, but it is rooted. So we're, again, as we did in the start of the video, we're going to check with root checker basic to check if we actually have root. Let's just close this app so we can open it again. And now we can verify root. As you can see, ask for root access and there's also a time right there. And we're just going to grant it. And there you go. Congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. That's it guys, that's the fastest way to root your phone. Thanks for watching.